Dankeschön. Ich hoffe, es ist okay, wenn ich die Präsentation auf Englisch halte. Ist das is that okay? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yes. One more time. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Colin Bear. I am a bit over the top Californian. I came here about a year and a half ago and ended up uh, starting a company. Um, I am uh, German-American, so that means my native language is Denglish. And uh, my colleague Martin can attest to the fact that that is also our language in the office. Um, I am thrilled to be here. Uh, thank you, Web Montag. Um, when one of the first events that I was at when I came to Frankfurt a year and a half ago was Web Montag, and I'm thrilled to myself now be on this stage with you beautiful people. So thank you. Um, what is this presentation about? Is a question I asked myself a couple of days ago, um, because I don't want to. I'm. As it says up there, I'm the co-founder of Mentor Lane. I don't want to make this too much of an advertisement. And I thought, what can I talk about to bring some value and some insight and some engagement uh, into uh, tonight? So I started with uh, Web Montag. What is Web Montag? Uh, Web Montag is, a ser uh, is an event series focusing on society and technology, digital trends, how the web transforms society and vice versa. And the theme for tonight is engagement. What is that? What is engagement or engagement? Any thoughts? A word? What, what word would you use for engagement? Passion? Passion? Mm -hmm. Commitment. Commitment. Cool. Anyone else? Communication. communication. Okay, passion, commitment, communication. For me, it's very interesting to, and I, I strongly agree with these words for, uh, as the definition, you see the word engagement in wildly different circumstances. You see it in war, in love, and in business. In war, we have engaged the enemy. We are now making contact, we are opening fire. You made contact and you're committing to that, uh, that activity. In love, I'm engaged to this beautiful woman, or this handsome man, right? I'm committed to this person. In business, I'm fully engaged in this thing. I'm focusing only on that. Uh, absorbed, engrossed, interested. Uh, so for me, uh, engagement is committing your attention and efforts to a person or thing, which is how I figured out what I want to talk about tonight. Tonight, I want to talk about you. Hi. Hi, you. Hi there. It's me. Um, I want to talk about you and your ability to engage. And I want to begin with a question that hits at the heart of Web Montag. Has the digitalization of society helped or hurt our ability to engage? And I'm going to venture the point of view that it's hurt us. I'm going to venture the point of view that we don't engage anymore. And I believe, and I think this is an engagement in, di in a dialogue too, I heard a kvatch. I believe that this has something to do with the evolution of digital technology. We're enmeshed in a collage of various social media networks. Facebook and Twitter have become an outlet for our engagement with the rest of the world. We do share things. We do communicate. But only those things that we think make us look good, that carry out our image. Facebook has devolved into a performance, I think. And it seems that Shakespeare's prophecy may be coming true. All the world is a stage and all the men and women merely players. This is also making us not only superficial in how we act, but also ineffective. People nowadays, they share their likes on Facebook and they comment on things quite passionately, if you haven't noticed, I have, um, and, or sometimes donate money and they think they're engaging, you know? I said something important about that topic. Hmm. But maybe worst of all is that the digitalization of current society has created sub-communities in which we surround ourselves with like-minded people. Of course, it's uncomfortable when someone else has a different point of view and is commenting on your status. And so we usually tend to shy away from that and uh, stick with uh, people who share our opinion. And that's comfortable, but it's... Um, it's not really bringing us forward as a society. Um, and I love this example, right? 
Um, and this could be where we're headed toward, but I don't think this is where we're headed toward. I want to now offer, I don't want to just talk about a problem, I want to talk about a solution. What if we really engaged again? What would it take, what would that look like, where people really were talking face-to-face, -face, not in, in a group, not in a, uh, on a platform, but face-to-face? -face. What would that look like? Because when we do engage, we do something beautiful. We take our collection of gathered knowledge and experience and we share it with the universe. And when we share it with the universe, we help shape the universe. And I believe that kind of contact between people is called mentorship. What is mentorship? Mentorship is a special one-on-one -on -one relationship between a mentor and a mentee. The mentor being the one that has the experience and the uh, knowledge for the goal of the mentee. The mentee is the one who is uh, the, the driver and the mentor is the navigator who has been there before and knows what the way looks like. And so when you look at the refugees that, uh, that come here, when you look at the people in need of knowledge and experience, what do they really need? It's not Facebook likes, not profile picture changes, not heated debates on social media about what the true meaning of sensitivity is. These people need mentors. They need people that actively and personally engage with them. So, let's sk skip a couple ahead. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, one more, or two more? Yeah, yeah good. Um, yeah, so, so who do you think is best suited to be a mentor? I'm gonna come back to my topic of the night. You, it's you. Who else could it be? Chuck Norris agrees. And I'm serious, I'm talking about the people in this room right now. Why, why you? The world is changing so fast that organized institutions cannot keep up with the pace of change. The best teacher is the one who has made the experience before and can pass it along. I'm sure you've heard that, what I find silly saying, those who can't do teach. Well, I think in the current, uh, in the current times, the best teacher is the one who has done and can pass it on. What qualifies one to become a mentor, I think is the same thing that qualifies one to become a volunteer, the desire to do so. And after that, it's just a matter of matching. Mentorship can bring the stage back to you, and you can be that missing link in our current uh, unproductive educational model. Um, so give it a shot. Maybe you can change somebody's life. Thank you.